Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Well, earlier in the show, we talked about the SC or C at ZU complex burn scar. Christopher Salas did a really detailed story on it because it's a big concern this upcoming winter. You can see uh, the burn scar there, and there's some very er uh, areas that we are concerned, especially near the coast, um, and in some of these areas that if we get a little bit of rainfall, it unfortunately will lead to some major issues. Now. We're watching rain rates throughout the winter when we are forecasting for these storms. So that's something we're watching. And also, we want everyone to be prepared ahead of time. So there's a couple of things you can do right now to get prepared if you live in any of these danger zones. So ways to communicate before the emergency or during the emergency. Code red, and that's in Santa Cruz County that you'd want to uh, register that for. WEA, a wireless emergency alert. And then NOAA weather radio. We don't talk about that a lot out here, but when I lived in severe weather markets, uh, especially the elderly, people who don't have smart smartphones. Uh, it's a very good way to stay communication communicated uh, with the National Weather Service and get those alerts. Also, you never know when the power is going to go out or cell service. Uh, so NOAA Weather Radio is a, a good way to get information out if there is a storm uh, that could bring the potential rainfall. So rain rates that could lead to these issues, about a third of an inch possible, uh, or it could lead to that in 15 minutes, about a half of an inch in a half hour, or about three quarters of an inch per hour. And we've had storms that dump more than this. Now, this is all trial, so this is what emergency um, emergency crews in Santa Cruz County have estimated would be an issue. So if we forecast anything close to this, then they'll send out those alerts. So it's one thing that you're going to want to pay close attention to with any system. This system coming tonight, don't have to worry about that. It's going to be very light. As for our temperatures right now, we're a little cooler than where we were yesterday at this time, so seeing some 30s. Uh, but when we do see this next system coming, it's going to bring some cloud cover. That'll keep us warmer for tonight. But this afternoon is going to be a little chilly. So you can see that rain up in Northern California, and that's going to come our way. Looks like it is going to be on the lighter side. We'll take a look at this. You can see this cold front coming through uh, right around sunset this evening, which is, believe it or not, before 5 o'clock this evening. And then that's going to be that light rain. Also some snow up in the Sierra. Now over the next few days, then we're going to be seeing a nice little warm up. You can see um, sunshine coming out throughout this weekend and then rain possible in Northern California. Don't think we're going to be seeing that late in the weekend. And then a warm front comes our way by late in the weekend and into early next week. And that's going to bring us uh, those warmer temperatures ahead of another system that's going to come through. Looks like Tuesday that we'll be seeing that uh, Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. As for today, there is going to be that chill. I've lowered temperatures in the Santa Cruz Mountains because I think that cloud cover is going to keep you a little cooler uh, near 60 degrees, maybe some upper 50s as well. Forecast for today, uh, seeing those uh, 60s and probably some upper 50s in some areas. So there you can see near 60 degrees for the Monterey Peninsula. Over the next few days, we will be seeing decreasing clouds while well, increasing today, then decreasing. Um, the temperatures going up and down, rain chances going in and out, but this is exactly what we want to see because of our concern with uh, the Santa Cruz Mountains, as well as our other uh, burn scars around Highway 1 and the River Fire and Carmel Fire. But Brittany, the reason we're not talking about those is because it's the way it's set up and where the houses are in the Santa Cruz Mountains and how big that fire was. So right. there is concern down south, but you know, along Highway 1 and in the Big Sur area, it's not as densely populated. Right. Mm -hmm. All right, Gina, thanks. I know you'll keep us apprised of everything going on. We up sure there. will. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm.